You know, I think it's a, a, a typical hard-fought CAA game. We, we were expecting it. Um, I, I think Wilmington might be the biggest, most athletic team in the league. Um, they surprised us a little bit. We talked a lot about zone uh, that we thought we'd see about half the game zone. They played 100% zone. So that's something probably as a, as a coach we've got to be more aware of and, and continue to improve. I uh, thought we had a lot of good shots. We'll go back and study. We didn't shoot the ball great, um, although we did guard. Uh, we rebounded enough. And I do think the one issue is a, we're not off reds is rebounding enough, but a lot of that's against zone. So we've got to go back and continue to study that. But to grind one out, uh, like I said, they, 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 they got a good, talented club. Uh, you know, we're, we're very fortunate and we're happy about it. We still haven't had one of those nights where like our main four or five guys all shoot it well. Uh, so hopefully that happens at some point. I think that happens, we become dangerous. Zones are gonna force you to shoot the ball. And like I said, I think sometimes it forces us to get him out in the perimeter a little bit more and maybe that hurts us offensive rebounding. And um, you know, we just, we'll, we'll continue to work against it. But I, 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 and I said this the other day, our, our ball movement and our chemistry is the best it's been since I've been here, and, and, and that'll continue. And, you know, if a couple of those, I give Wilmington credit. I thought a couple of times we had them on the ropes and they, they, they fought back, or, or maybe we made, you know, we, we made one or two uncharacteristic, well, maybe characteristically bad plays. So that we, if we can get past that, um, you know, I thought maybe, maybe we could have ran away with it, but they didn't. They're good. They're good, and we knew it was going to be a tough game.